be cool if it stayed in like at least the boat place or something, but I guess then it would have to be running the whole time or it would just sink. I've been robbed. Welcome, my friends. So glad you could join me. My name is Wonka. Today, we're playing The Crew 2. I know, we said we finished it yesterday, but I also said there was a massive update coming to the game and right on schedule, unlike some people. We got ourselves the Gator Rush DLC for free. Absolutely free, I believe. I mean, I didn't pay for it. So we're going to check out everything new that they added to the game today, or at least everything we can find. And if you like that, you want to see more Crew 2 when they update in the future, all you got to do that like button leave me a comment down below as always if you're new here or you haven't already be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button without further ado let's just hop right in i hope you guys enjoy and i think you will so there you go gator rush there's actually some gators in the water but we're going to test our nerves in the brand new motorsports discipline the hovercraft in bayou lake michigan and glacier park we can play all of the events again in the new Ace difficulty that I was talking about in my last Crew 2 video in which we can loot new legendary parts and make our cars that much better all around. 30 new activities and explore the US to complete a new off-road photo set. The English gets a little weird on that last line. I don't I don't I don't like the way the way it's worded. I don't like the way I'm talking. I don't know if I like anything. All right, but we're here. We're in the Gator Rush. It's, I mean, this is it. I guess we'll just, uh, we have a hovercraft. Are there more hovercrafts now? I assume everything that you see flashing a little bit on your screen here is, is new. So we got uh, the Live Extreme Series September Spectacular. That's fancy. We got some new events. There's a street event down here. Hypercar, Hollywood Hypercar Street Event. Um, this is the logo for the hovercrafts, the Gator Rush hovercrafts, and obviously, sitting here pinging away, we got the new discipline over at the off-road, which only had three before. Now, it's got four, right? Because it's Rally Raid and Rally Cross. Why does it look like those are joined together now? Were they always like that? Shows how much attention I paid to this game. Hovercraft. Where are they? Point me in the right direction, Chief. Oh, there they are. Or is this the one that I get for free? Nope, this is them. Do I have enough money? Oh, the Seasons Pass one is sweet. I wish I had the Seasons Pass now. Damn it. Yeah, whatever. Forget them. We got this one. Looks like an ATV combined with like a sea -Doo combined with a hovercraft and one of those like fan boats you know what i mean the ones that they go in the low water with, with the fan on the outside those things are badass think about it a fan is literally propelling you through the water from sheer wind power not propulsion under with water all right just wind power and not the power of the wind being harnessed by sails either no it's creating the wind power. That's badass, all right? I don't care what any of you say. That's badass. So uh, this one's pretty cool and definitely fast. 142 kilometers per hour with 400 brake horsepower. It's the fastest one here, hands down. But um, this is the only one we can afford. The Bumblebee X. The Bumblebeaks. Straight up the Speedster. All right, well, I want to feel the difference between the two. So let's let's get our hopes up a little bit by driving the one that we can't afford. <laughs> oh man, it's way faster than, than the other hovercraft. Way faster. Oh, this thing gets up to top speed in no time. So I guess top speed is actually going to be really freaking important. Hmm. To grind out 100k or not to grind out 100k, that is the question that needs an answer. <laughs> This thing is too fun. Okay, okay, I think I'm gonna like this. 
Although I think it's also going to be a little bit challenging because, you know, ooh, handling a hovercraft is, is like driving on ice. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Sure, you can get up to some good speeds, but the wrong corner comes your way and um, you're not prepared for it, you're done. It's like this. It's game over. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. You kind of just got to, like, throw it in the direction you want to go at really hard, like over drift it basically, and then straighten out. That's that's kind of how it feels like it's got to be. So I just want to see how different it is if I drive this one. Sorry, I didn't mean to select it. I'm just going to test drive it for now because I don't actually know now. They're both cool. Oh, this one almost did a freaking wheelie. This one also sounds like a freaking lawnmower and is definitely a little bit slower. Not a ton really, but it's definitely a bit slower. The question is, which one's faster after they are upgraded, I guess. It's not, like, terrible. It feels like it has a little bit better handling, but that could just be because we're going slower, and I'm now, like, used to, like, how to drive these things more. I don't know. I don't like the sound of this one as much. It sounds like I'm on a riding lawnmower. I like how big the, um, the skirt is down there. It's pretty funny. Let's spin it out. 360 let's go <laughs> oh sorry about your tree okay let me let me make it up to you oh never mind oh man how much do i have to to grind 399 almost 400,000 so almost almost another 200,000 that's a lot do i need the um hovercraft to do the september live extreme that's what i want to know we do. I think so. Yes, we do. Good to know. So um, we're buying the cheaper one because we can't afford it. Because that was going to be my way of grinding it, was playing that. So we can work up to this one, and that way it'll be more special when we buy it, you know? But for now, I'm getting the Bumblebee. This thing, this thing looks cool, at least. And if we can upgrade it and make it fast, I'm all about it. We need we need yellow. Like, it's it's called the Bumblebee, all right? We need yellow. We'll name him Jerry after the B movie, you know? Over too many of your heads, I guess. Nah, you guys got it. The B movie has been memed so many times. For sure you guys got it. Whee! Oh man, this thing is just, I'm just gonna have way too much fun with this. Oh, my bad. Just doing spins and stuff. How much will it, oh, what's up, dude? Hey, what's up, my brother? Oh, he's got the good one. I'm jelly. I'm jelly of yo, yo, expensive tastes. <laughs> I like how this one like almost does a wheelie every time you take. It does a wheelie basically every time I take off. Where'd that guy go? Why'd he leave? Thought we were friends. Thought we were hovercraft buddies. Look, my suit actually matches this thing, too. That's amazing. It wasn't the longest test drive, but we, we took a little bit more test drive earlier, so we're good. But you know what we got to do every time we get a new vehicle. We got to come in here, first of all, and figure out where it stays. I would assume in the garage. It'd be cool if it stayed in, like, at least the boat place or something, but I guess then it would have to be running the whole time or it would just sink. I've been robbed. This is actually a good thing, though. I think maybe this means that they fixed that glitch, which actually was a glitch. I appreciate the suggestions on how to fix it, but none of them worked. This thing was glitched. You could not switch your cars and make it stay. And it took them a while, but it looks like maybe they finally fixed it. So I'm putting my hovercraft right here. Tiger. Tiger Tonic. Let's see if there's any... No, no customizations. Obviously, no performance parts yet. Kind of like a bumblebee, I guess. I just want a bumblebee. Okay. Okay, no, not 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 quite. Hmm, there's actually not a ton out yet at all. Could you guys hear that? I feel like there was some children just, like, screaming. Well, that's game sound. Let's uh, make our own, potentially, here. I don't really think I want to spend that much time. But here I am, about to do it. All right, base yellow and black, perfect. Just what I like to see. All right, on second thought, I don't, I don't have enough time for that. But I'll make, I'm gonna make a little custom bumblebee in the future. 
But for now, we're just going to go with this one because it's stripey and potentially hurting people's eyes like mine. Um, but that's fine. It looks looks good. It looks real. Um, no. No. No, it doesn't. I can't lie. I can't lie to you. Okay, I did it. I put racing stripes only on the fan. I made this panel right here black. Just to add some more black accents. And I made a quick B. He only has one stripe though. All the other bees made fun of him for it. I'm ready to rock. Sounds a little better now. Maybe that's because it's mine. Alright, may as well get into a race here. Um, this is the closest one. Credit where it's due, Wade had a good idea. A hovercraft event series out in the bayou. I even like his name. Gator Rush. For me, it's the best way to experience the wetlands up close. It's hovercrafting at its purest. I heard he got the craft from some freestyle bigwig, Sophia. Know her? She'll be our special guest. But I'm still the one to beat. Damn, there's already a king of the hovercraft world? That's insane. Is that why they made me accept some battle eye stuff? To catch these cheaters in the hovercraft world? Sorry, excuse me. Part, pardon. <laughs> Come on, little Bumblebee, we got this. Oh, we got some of the guys in the uh, big boy cards here. The two fanners. We're gonna have to try and... Oh, what the hell? They just pushed me, like, right out of the way of that jump. <laughs> it's pretty remote out here, isn't it? I had trouble finding the place. Remote's how we like it. Thanks for lending us your hovercraft. Thanks for letting me gator rush. How, how did Hope you, you don't mind if I crush you? I don't mind losing if you don't. Get real. You're both gonna lose to my friend out there. Um, how was it hard to find when there's like literally giant orange like arrows and blow up You're in checkpoints? The lead. If you can hold it, these things don't break that much, so I'm just gonna have to speed up. Come by the sales oh, and oh, the world sorts of branded reindeer. Got the faster vehicle. Oh, I hit a tree. Is, is Harold the one talking shit too? Because he's he's pretty quick. I'm having trouble getting there. He just seems to have nos for days. No. It's my race. No! Damn it. It's so hard <laughs> to drive Good luck catching things. me now. I don't plan to slow down. Not that it's easy to do with these things. Yeah, I know. I'm in last place. You don't have to remind me, my dude. Alright, I'm, I'm quite happy back here in last. Really, really useful having the NOS on the turns in these things. Really helps you get going in the direction you're trying to go. This guy I just like this all in one vehicle. is insane. My pickup doesn't handle this well in swamps. Out here in the bayou, you gotta get crafty in order to catch you some gators. I haven't seen any gators yet either. Oh no. Almost lost it a little bit there. It's insane. I really should have invested in the uh, top of the line model and would have made my life a little easier here. Come on. Let's get a little bit of a lead here or something. I don't know what they did to the racing in this, but it doesn't feel as like rubber bandy and like easy. But maybe that's just because I have the worst hovercraft and no upgrades. Do not offer the drivers any food or beverages. But I'm still managing to keep up and I'm currently holding first place. Not just in it for like half a damn second. This was this was a good update. I was kind of worried it wasn't gonna be that good. I was I was kinda like really it took this long to come out with like this. But you know what? They came out with hovercrafts other than the one that they gave you for free. That was a gator. I just literally ran over a gator with my hovercraft. <laughs> um, sorry about your gator. Oh my god, they're just pushing so hard. Okay, I forgot about my overturn strategy. I need to I need to start implementing that. 
trying to maintain my speed like the view? when I should Real just, in off -road, just cut we it leave if the I have to. Path to find the beauty of nature. Checkpoint in missed, no! We leave the beaten path to no. find the fun. I didn't That's know why we like to share our toys. There. Oh, please, myself. get a room, you two. I did not know there was a checkpoint there. And that's the finish. That really sucks. I, I, I caught up. Look at that. Seventh to first Woo! in like 2.2 seconds. You folk are a blast. Thanks. You race like you mean it. And you race like you need it. Excuse me. Ow. Pardon me. Just trying to get some upgrades. Thank you. So, look at you. You beat Wade and locked him out, bike, and then won yourself a championship. I bet you're proud of yourself, vendors. and you should be. But remember, I'm still gonna be out there. You and me, we're gonna meet again. Okay, see you then. I'm out of control. All right, let's add some performance stuff. We got a uh, this gearboxes. Yeah, gearbox and exhaust and throttle now we're competing a little better spin rate damn some fancy terminology there let's actually take a quick look um what kind of pro settings you have here air assistance i don't know what that is let's take these off air assistance and spin brake assistance we'll leave the rest let's see what this is like are available from our friendly vendors. Oh, it's backfiring now. I don't know what air assistance and stuff like that is. It still feels pretty good. I assume taking those assists off probably makes me a little bit faster. Maybe it just helps keep you from spinning out if you're not very good at controlling it. I don't know. It still feels controllable to me, so... Like many of the settings in the Crew 2, it doesn't feel like it changed much. <laughs> Don't honk at me. Don't honk at me. You cut it out. That's what I thought. All right, let's see if we can try one of these ace races. Recommended 280. Do I not have something that's 280? Let's try the bike. I bet I could probably do it with the 276 bike. Nah, I just jinxed it, so it's not gonna happen. All right, here we go, ace difficulty. Let's see how hard it is. I am on a bike versus cars, so I get a little bit of an advantage there. Oh, they feel fast, holy. I want legendary parts though. Come on, man, let me win. Especially that Fiat with the sleeper engine in it. Thing is quick. This is a good race for me though because I can do some cheeky stuff here. And just be gone. Thanks to the, the speed of this bike. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh my God, it got so loud there, why? Why did it just all of a sudden get extremely loud for no reason? Alright, it doesn't seem too bad, ace difficulty. Especially when you're on a bike. But I'm not even at the recommended uh, performance level, so I don't really understand how this was supposed to be a challenge yet. But hey, you know, I'm sure rubber band racing will kick in any moment, and that Fiat will be right up my ass. Or maybe not. I wonder what's in that Fiat. Did they say it was a V8? I feel like they said it was a V8. Can't keep up with my uh, speed bike though, that's for sure. I'm surprised I don't have a vehicle that's 280, but it's because I have a bunch of vehicles that have my like top parts on them, instead of one vehicle that has all my top parts on them. Which is, you know, the smart thing to do. Uh oh. Oh, almost missed this turn. <laughs> but no, it doesn't seem that bad. I mean, I hope I'm on ace difficulty still. I should be. I guess we'll find out at the end if I get the legendary parts or not. I'm sure um, some of the races will be harder than others, though. I specifically picked this one because I knew it's a walk in the park. 
usually. Just so I could guarantee winning the ace, but I thought it would at least give me a little bit more trouble throughout the entire race. Would have liked to see that, but hey. I'm sure they're doing their best back there, trying to keep up with someone who's not even technically supposed to be fast enough to be in this, according to the game's ratings. I like proving them wrong, I like being the underdog, and, and today I am. 10% left until we get a legendary part for this beast of a bike. And that's why I picked it. Top speed might be a little shy compared to some, but it's so fast with acceleration that if it's not a top speed race, you're just gone. Oh, I see it. The legendary. Legendary tires. Let's check them out. Details. We got skilled. Increased scoring by 5.6 in all, in all point-based skills. And nitro refills by 2.2% during jump. And set bonus. So if you have all legendaries or what? Multiply the nitro duration by 2. 0 out of 7 parts. Hmm. Is that yellow loot? Yellow loot's a mechanic's dream. Every part gives you the usual stuff, but if you collect a set of seven specific pieces, you get a super cool new bonus. There are five sets with five different bonuses, but you can only use one. Drops are random, so it may take time, but wow, is it worth it. Hmm. Well, yeah, I, I could imagine using nitrous for double the time sounds pretty good to me. Um... So I'm just lacking in the suspension here. So I just want to see, can I take... I have 270 suspension there. 262. So yeah, I don't have 280 suspension yet either way. But I'll take the 270 suspension off of this one. And put... Make the bike my maxed out. Most maxed out I could be. I just, I just need 280 suspension. And then I'll be at 280. So there you go. That's that's the new update in a nutshell. We'll do the uh, new live extreme in another one, I think. I don't think we have time for that one today. Oh, damn. I'm good. Just kill me. Blow me up. Appreciate it. Sure you hit that like button because if you guys hit the like button for me lots of good things happen okay and we can grow and do giveaways and like subscribe and all that good stuff okay take a easy <laughs>